Alright, before this video gets started, I just wanted to say, because I actually forgot to mention this, that I freaking uh, went fishing. Sorry, this isn't a fishing video. But a couple days ago, or a few days ago actually, went fishing. Was going to make a video out of it. It was just a pond fishing video. Caught like, yeah, caught four dinks. Um, missed another one. But was going to make a video of it anyway, because I always make a video when I go fishing. But every single file got corrupted, so that sucks. Um, but I think the camera is working fine now, or the SD card on the camera, I'm sure, is probably the problem, obviously. But hopefully that's good, and you guys will see this. If not, then I'm talking to this camera for no reason. Whatever. But, yeah. So I just decided to make this video, this quick video on the boat. Show you guys that. Hello everyone, so today I figured I would do a video on something that people keep asking me about. Just something quick. Uh, ooh, that's not even cool. Um, on my boat. Oh, that one's cold. And uh, just give you guys a walkthrough so you guys can see it. People always ask and everything, what kind of boat is it and all that stuff. So let's do it. There she is, the tarp was just pulled off. I was actually just doing something, so figured what the hell. That's what kind she is. <laughs> it is an Avenger XV 150 15, whatever the heck. I've heard it both ways. I think XV to me. Roman numerals, that's 15, but 15 and a half footer, fiberglass, 1989, old boat, but uh, it's got 85 horsepower Mercury on the back, CMC, power tilt and trim that I put on there. That thing is expensive, but freaking so happy I had it. When we bought it, it was completely hooked up just straight to the to the transom so uh <clears throat> sorry <coughs> oh my goodness um so yeah got that really happy about that you don't have to freaking pick it up and down by hand and uh all that fun stuff that's not really fun and also you can move it when you're running which is what you need when you're running um, instead of just locked in a position that's crappy Let's see battery compartment yes it has a cover I just don't have it on there and actually these I should just unhook just to make sure not wasting power here gas tank got all the tools anchor whatever mostly just tool compartment in here because you never know when you need tools. Alright. What else? This is what I did today. Brand new fish finder. Which I guess I'll show you guys now. Now first. Live well number one. Live wells do work. That's pretty cool. That one smells like fish. That was actually kind of nasty. I need to clean that out. That's what I put on. It's a Helix 5 side imaging, GPS, all the good stuff. So I finally have a good one back here. Had a cheapy Garmin Striker 4 back here for all of last year. Got rid of that, put it on the kayak. Have a video on how I did that if you guys want to check that out. And I decided 
because I wanted one with side imaging and one with GPS. Like the Garmin had GPS, but it was kind of janky. Um, and also didn't have an SD card in it. This, you know, you can save all your waypoints. Also download all the maps, all that fun stuff, which I need to go figure out. It's next project, but that's what I just did today. So get to use that tomorrow. This is uh, tackle storage, but now it's pretty much just battery storage. Got my, uh, ooh, this is like condensation up in there. But yeah, this is now just used as battery storage. Uh, tackle storage is pretty much just right there. <laughs> That's the one thing with this smaller boat. It does not have good storage in it, but whatever. Make do with what you have. Um, yep, just battery storage. Got freaking front fish finder battery, trolling motor battery. Front fish finder. It's also a Hummerbird Helix 5. This one is just down imaging. Does not have GPS. Just used one um actually on the front of the boat and then front live well never really gets used but yeah and then transducer for the front one and my trolling motor it's just the cheaper Minn Kota, the Minn Kota Edge uh, 55 pounds of thrust should have got a bigger one actually Thought 55 was going to be plenty, but a bigger one would probably do good. Probably should have stepped up to 70. Um, but whatever, does the job. It works. Does all that. I think it might be kind of burning out, so that's great. But we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Uh, hold on. Oh yeah, baby. And then, this is my rod locker. I can fit like 10 rods in here, really, if I want to cram them in there. It's kind of a weird rod locker, but I usually get 7, 8 in there, no problem. So. Then also got some other stuff. Marker buoy. Most important thing on the boat. Never lose that. This is completely empty, so I should just throw that away. This is a disgusting old line. I should probably just throw that away. I haven't really gone in here. Oh, and this scale is jacked. I'm going to throw that away. It's a good thing I'm doing this. See? This is also empty. So need to invest in more sunscreen, I guess. Even though I don't really use it. Just cover myself up with clothes. But that's pretty much that. Got your plug. Got your marker buoy much really all you need and then I just put my rods in there uh, oh, and then I do have the top little rod straps those are always nice the rod savers nice cheap little rod mounts to put on the deck oh, that's pretty much it. extra battery since we're having trolling motor uh, battery problems, but I finally bought a new battery for that, so it should be good to go. But it's always nice to have an extra one anyway. You never know. Have an extra one fully charged. Then our nice fancy net and a cooler. What else do you need? But that's pretty much that. Something quick for you guys. I get a lot of questions about the boat what the heck kind of boat is it stuff like that so there you go it is a 1989 mercury 15 150 whatever the heck like i said i've heard it both ways uh mercury avenger xv sorry 150 15 whatever um, don't really know too much about them, but saw it and uh, Yeah, that boat motor and trailer Was 600 bucks when we bought it so You can't go wrong with that and it floated the motor ran fine 
um, and all that fun stuff. So, yeah, anyway, boat motor and trailer, when we bought it from the guy, 600 bucks, it runs, doesn't take in water, all that. It's good. Um, and then with all the crap that we put into it, we did have to replace the axle on the boat because that snapped off. Uh, the spindle on the left tire, the driver's side tire, snapped off uh, when we pulled into the park at the lake one day. We had just pulled through the payment station, went to get on the main road, and all of a sudden, pop, it popped right off and <sighs> I slid across the road. Uh, <laughs> but um, they're redoing that road anyway, so it was cool. But <laughs> left a big giant gouge in it. They didn't even care. But, uh, yeah, that was fun. Had to get a tow truck. You know, one of the, like, flatbed tow trucks. You had to figure out how to hoist it up on there, but whatever. But anyway, the axle on that was only, like, 250 I think. Like, it was nothing. It's just a single axle. Really nothing to them. But, so that. And then, 400 and something dollar trolling motor. Thousand dollar on the tilt and trim. That thing is freaking expensive thousand bucks for both fish finders put together so um or maybe not even that 800 800 bucks for both fish finders put together and other than that just wear and tear or whatever i haven't really done anything else pretty much it in the two years sucker runs she gets it out on the water so can't complain about that but yeah just figured i'd make that video for you guys since people ask about it and what the heck not. You guys see me fishing on it all the time. That's how it's set up. It's nothing spectacular. Gets the job done though. I love that little boat. So, And it's still, even with the two grand or whatever we put into it, that's still a whole heck of a lot cheaper than buying a freaking $50,000 bass boat. So, We're good. But, I will have fishing videos come out pretty soon, hopefully. Um, have not really been fishing. Did go out uh, a couple days ago because of the rain. Didn't work all day. Went out. Freaking stunk. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. But I'll probably show those clips anyway eventually. But throw them into something. <laughs> but taking that guy out tomorrow. Go try that new side imaging. I'll kind of talk about that when we do it. Maybe I'll just kind of make a video on that the whole time. Uh, not the whole time. I'm going to be fishing too. Because <laughs> I haven't been fishing. But yeah, so fishing videos will be coming. Don't worry. Click on my logo in the upper left hand corner to subscribe. In the upper right hand corner is the last video I made. In the lower right hand corner there's a video I know you'll enjoy. And make sure to hit that like button down below as well.